Ghana Exim Bank is the driving force behind Ghana's agenda of transforming the country into an export hub through industrialization and support for the private sector using several initiatives. One of the key initiatives is the One District One Factory, popularly known as 1D1F. Exim Bank, which was formed in 2016 by an Act of Parliament, 2016 at 911 mandates the bank to carry certain jobs. It has two objects, and that object is what we are fulfilling. But more importantly, all exit banks across the world are formed as a developmental banks or as a policy bank. In our case in Ghana, as a policy bank, it is our mandate to be able to work with the government of the day. And in working with the government of the day, it requires us to make sure that we fulfill and implement the vision of the government in power. And as you may recall, the current president, His Excellency Leonardo Danko Akufado, as a visionary leader, made it clear as part of his manifesto that he was going to transform the industrialization of this country and the economy. With it came the mantra, one district, one factory. The government of Ghana put emphasis on certain core industries that have been integral to social development and a drain on the country's trade deficit. Most of these industries have local sourced raw material or immediate local human and infrastructural capacity. In transforming the economy and transforming the industries in this country, one of the key components is the raw material base. So you need to make sure that if you are going to any districts, you have to find out from the promoter that you're going to put this industry in this place. What raw materials are you going to use? And if you're going to use this raw material, how sustainable is it going to be over the period? Some of the massive industrial projects embarked on are mainly focused around the agricultural sector. To curb the drain of over 250 million in foreign exchange, the palm oil sector has been targeted with long-term financing from the Ghana Exim Bank. Not too long ago, they said that Malaysians came to West Africa to take our palm oil fruits. They have developed over 35 products. Ghana is still hovering around three to four products. Joabin Oil Mills Company Limited, amongst others, have received strategic investment aimed at industrializing and commercializing the company to benefit the local community, protect the environment, and ensure reliable return to investors and lenders. Ghana spends about $375 million annually on poultry importation. Sad that a country of about 31 million Ghanaians, we import almost about 90% chicken meat. And these are the factors that affect our dollar. We need to fix this. And that is why this government and this bank has made poultry as one of the key, but our number one focus area. Acro Farms, one of the Greenfield poultry farms, received unprecedented investment for the production of healthy livestock and livestock products. Acro Farms is now the largest poultry factory in West Africa. Other brownfield factories have also received funding for automated state-of-the-art production expansion. It's predicted to create 747 jobs with expected import substitution revenue of over 180 million annually. In doing that, we are creating jobs. So we have to make sure that we finance Ghanaians who will be able to help us to solve this problem. 
Ghana Exim Bank has injected financing into three pineapple plantation projects at Ekumfi, Komenda and West Achim. If you talk of Ekumfi, we are supporting the raw material base and as we speak, over 600 to 800 acres of pineapple has been grown. The plan is to do it to almost about 1,800 to 2,000, involving almost about 600 to 800 art growers who then will be farming almost about three acres per person. There's also one Peter's Falls in Komenda at Negu Eguafo. And then I'm aware that again, Aztec that we are reviving now Nano Foods is also coming up. So we need that sustainable base of raw material. The bank has funded two sweet potato cultivation and processing projects. Casado Ropa Company Limited, located in Bewaze in the Gumwa West District Central Region, and Dorothy Kani Company Limited in Chebi in Eastern Region. Investment in the sweet potato industry reduces Ghana's dependence on wheat and other imported flour used in the baking industry. The sweet potato projects are expected to create 1,500 jobs. Ghana Exim Bank has boosted the avocado industry through investment into Equipping Gold Company's factory and associated avocado farms in the eastern region. These farms and avocado processing factory are to meet the growing demand of avocado in the cosmetics, pharmaceutical and food industries, both locally and for exports internationally. To reduce the imports of tomato, paste and other tomato products, and to stem the post-harvest losses in Ghana, Ghana Exim Bank funded a 40,000 metric ton per annum factory where the Africa Tomato Processing Factory with temperature controlled storage located in Brekum, Bunu East Region. The factory has established a 2,400 acre nucleus farm and also spearheaded the establishment of 2,000 tomato outgrower farmers in Tano North and Brekum West districts. The Bodukwan Mango and Jute Factory in Kotri Ashanti region is under construction to process mangoes from existing Bodukwan farms in Nkranza North District in the Bono region, as well as fruits from other farms in the Ashanti, Bono, Bono East, Ahafo, Savannah and Northern regions. This Gargantuan factory is the first of its kind to process fruit in this catchment area. The jute factory currently under construction is for the local manufacturing of jute bags for the cocoa, cashew and coffee industries, mitigating the millions in foreign exchange losses Ghana loses yearly importing jute bags. The two factories will employ over 3,000 youth directly and indirectly. Ghana Exim Bank has made significant strategic investments in the northern part of Ghana to stem the post-harvest losses in watermelon. The northeast, the Tamale area, all those enclave, upper east, is full of watermelon. So we thought it was wise that to put up a factory over there, to be able to cut down on post-harvest losses. It is not only watermelon, Again, in the northern region, we have built four processing share butter. Everybody in this country, whether south, east or west, or the model, but knows that Ghana has a lot of share in the three northern regions. The Youth in Greenhouse Enterprise project is being done in partnership with the Ministry of Food and Agriculture and the National Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program to promote investment in greenhouse vegetable production in Ghana towards import substitution and employment creation. That investment is Youth in Greenhouse project. So it was for Exim Bank to assist the youth especially our graduate and employment. As we speak, we have financed 100 greenhouses across the country. It will amaze you that we spent almost 100 to 300 million on vegetables from other countries to this country. We are also working with the research institution to make sure that those of our students who are in academia, 
you will have the benefits of having a practical knowledge of some of these innovations. And that's why you have one in UST, then the other one in UCC. There are about 20 in Dovenia. We have some in Volta region, five in Western region, another five in the Himalua Dencha area. We have also five in Sojimain, another five in the Chebi area. So it's all scattered in about six regions that were selected as a pilot. Main pharmaceutical policy goals in Ghana are access to essential medicines for everybody, quality assurance for all drugs on the market, a functioning and efficient supply chain, as well as a growth ratio from 30% to 60% of medicines to be made in Ghana. Because either to almost every drug was coming from either Germany or India. So if we can help make them more modern with a state of the art technology. In 2020, they were supposed to become JMP compliant. That's general manufacturing practice and EU compliant. And that is why this bank decided to invest $60 million, a hooping 301 million Ghana cities into the pharmaceutical industry in three years. There are also three projects on cassava in the eastern Volta and Brong Ahafo regions that have received funding with expected employment of 11,200 individuals under the Cassava Enterprise Project. I recall on a trip that I undertook with the Vice President of this land to China. When we came back, his view was that every district should have 50 acres of cassava production. Because with cassava, you can do cassava starch, you can do cassava chips, you can do ethanol in terms of its usage in the country and in terms of its export benefits. And with it, Caltech is in the Volta region and Amante is in the Bronaf region. And we have also 20 cassava enterprise projects, that is a small one. The garment manufacturing companies in Ghana have faced economic challenges since the inception of trade liberalization. Specifically, foreign imports have introduced competition into the market, which has resulted in marginalized value of authentic Ghanaian products. Ghana Exim Bank has made significant investments into the garment industry. These investments have turned Ghana into a net exporter of garments. As we speak, they do almost about $2 million every month export to America. At the height of the COVID-19 crisis, Ghana was able to produce face masks and other PPEs locally, saving the country millions of dollars in the imports of PPEs, which became scarce and expensive on the world markets. So if you go around, among those five, you can see employment about over 10,000 Ghanaians, youth, the government, with the special development finance from Ghana Exim Bank, has initiated the setting up and growth financing of various factories to use local raw materials across the country. The first of this kind is a brick and tiles project in the Tanaso district, with some 1,000 jobs to be created. In three years, Ghana Exim Bank has invested in over 119 greenfield and brownfield projects and there are more to be done in the pipeline. But now that we've been able to do almost about 119 one factory, with other banks in total now making about 232 one factory, it is envisaged that Exim Bank would be able now to move into the bigger areas. At Ghana Exim Bank, we call this the Made in Ghana 4P. Produce, promote, purchase and prosper. If as a people we believe in the Ghana beyond aid, then let's prosper as a nation by producing, promoting and purchasing our products. Let's support Made in Ghana and let's take Made in Ghana to the world. One district, one factory, Ghana at work. Ghana Exim Bank, facilitating Ghana's international trade.